you can go back and watch the recording, okay? So if I do a Google search for Google Earth, it is not the same thing as Google Maps, all right? It is Earth. It's a separate application. It's similar, but it's a lot more strong. So when I go to launch Earth, your laptops, depending on your connection, might take a long time for this to load. All right? Google Earth is going to look the same as Google Maps down here in the corner with the person, the 3D view, and all that. But on the left side is where it's different. Okay? Over here on the left side, we could search for things, places, like St. Joseph School, Danville, PA. And it will jump to that location. Okay. There's a lot of other neat tools though. There are the Voyager thing, which could take you into 3D locations and stuff. There is the dice tool. You see the dice here? It says I'm feeling lucky. If I click on that, it's gonna take me to a random place out there in somewhere in the world. It's taking me to Destin, Florida. If I click on it again, it's gonna take me to some other place in Tanzania. So that's what the dice does. We're going to be using the tool right below the dice called projects. Okay. When I click on projects, yours is going to look like, well, let me delete some of these here. When you click on the projects tool, it's going to look like this. Okay. What you're going to have to do is you're going to click on create. And when you click on create, we're going to create a project in something that's familiar to us, Google Drive. So I'm going to click on Create Project in Google Drive. All right? Always when we create a project, it starts it off as Untitled Project. So we're going to give this project a name, and I'm going to title it uh, Places I Have Been. Okay? And that's going to be the name of my project title. So my title is Places I've Been. Now, what do we do at Places I've Been? There's lots of different ways to do this. So have we all been to St. Joe's School? Yes. So I'm going to go into Pennsylvania. There's a couple ways I could find St. Joe's School. I could search and type in St. Joseph's School. Maybe I could find it. This looks like it, doesn't it? So let's see if this is our school. Does that look like our school? All right. So if I click on it, do you see this word right here? What does this say right here? Somebody unmute yourself and tell me what this says right here. Add to project. Awesome. So if I click on that, it's going to ask me what project I want to add it to. I'm going to add it to the project places I've been. When I click on save, now I have a place on my project. So this is my project. When I click on it, it takes me there. So let's search for another place quick. So maybe I want to put my address in. Okay. So maybe I type in my home address and it's going to take me there. Now, one little thing we could do is I could add it to the project, right? Just like we did. But there's another thing we could do. If I go over here in my projects tab, all right, let's zoom into my house. All right, I'm going to find my home. And what you could do is you see this where it says new feature. This is really neat. If I find new feature, I could add a place mark on it and I could drop it on my house and I could say my home, save it to my project. And now look, I could go to St. Joseph's School or I could go to my home. Whatever one I click on, it's going to jump me to that location. St. Joseph's School, my home. All right. Let's say, let me let my dog out really quick. She's being a pain in my butt. Go. All right. Let's say I wanted to go over here. And let's say this is my favorite place to play. I could go to new feature. And this is really cool too. I could not just add a place mark. I cannot just search. But if I go into my projects, whoops, this 
get back here. I could actually draw a line or a shape. So instead of drawing a place mark, I'm going to draw a line or shape around this baseball field. And I'm going to name that my favorite place to play. Okay. So now I have a place I searched for. I have my home and my favorite place to play. Okay. And you could present this like a PowerPoint presentation. I could click on the word present. And just like in PowerPoint, when we go to the next slide, you see right here, I can click on the arrows. So here's St. Joseph School. Here is my home. You can see it in my contents. And then if I press next, it's going to take me to my favorite place to play. It's going to outline it for me. So it's like I'm giving you a presentation. All right. Some other places you might want to include are maybe places that you went on vacation, right? So I'm going to click on let's see new feature search one place i went on vacation was saint kitts and nevis i'm gonna click on there and if i want to add the whole country i could click add to project but maybe i didn't visit the whole country maybe i just was in this village on this beach so i can click on my projects tab again new feature draw one and this is actually where i vacationed all right 2018 vacation so i'm just using the features here i could add a place mark here maybe this is where i went golfing golfing trip 2018 and you can add as many places if you've never left the country that's fine you could add pennsylvania if you went to spain you could try to find your place you went anywhere in the world you could use for this all right, and all we do is go to new feature and either add a place mark, draw a line or shape, or we could even search. Like if I typed in um, Canada, obviously it's a whole part, but there's a city of Canada in Kentucky. So maybe I was talking about Canada, Kentucky. I could add that to my project like that too. So now I have all these places. The last thing I want to show you, which this might be a little too much. I wasn't going to show you this, but I think you guys have a good grasp on this. I think we did a pretty good job explaining it. The last thing you can add is the only thing I didn't show you is this full screen slide. All right. What that will do is it could divide the places. Like maybe I want to put organize my presentation for you. So places I've vacationed. Okay. Maybe I want to add a image like a beach image to this slide. And what this does is this is a slide where I could divide it. So if I have St. Joe's School, my home, my favorite place to play, that's in Danville. This is in Pennsylvania. Then this stuff is not. So let's move this slide up to there. And you can move your locations. Would it be a good idea to go to St. Joseph School to an island, back to Danville, back to Canada? No, it's a good idea to group them together. So I'm going to do it in this order with my slide being right here. So if I'm presenting, first I'm in Danville. Then I jump to my house, which they're not far from each other. Then I have my favorite pace to play. And when I click Next... This is what my slide looks like. Now I'm going to go and show you my vacations. And then when I hit next, it's going to take me to someplace I vacationed. Then I can hit next and it'll show me the place I vacationed. And then I can click next and it'll show me another place I vacationed. So you're going to make a PowerPoint on in Google Earth using the right here on the side the projects tab so okay. first we use a bit of tinkercad and then we go to google uh, earth nope we're going to go into this this is going to be our next project because not everybody has a mouse so you can work on tinkercad in your own time uh, uh, but this is going to be our next project um so we're using google earth just to show you google earth you have to launch earth it might take a while so be patient it's a very powerful program you're going to open up the projects tab 
start a new project using Google Drive, all right? And once you click on it, it should open up. So you should be able to just click. And remember, you can drag these to change the order. You're gonna make your project on any place you've been before, any place, all right? You could use the slides to divide them. I don't care if you just do your hometown and mark all your friends' houses, your family members' houses. I don't care if you've traveled a lot and want to name all the places you've been, all right? But you're going to use Google Earth and create a project in the project tab to present to the rest of the class. That was a whole lot of information, but it looks pretty fun, doesn't it? All right. It's a pretty cool project. I think I like using Google Earth. I know you guys love using Google Earth. Mr. Gilger. So you guys could spend the rest of the class time working on 